Hello folks, welcome back, Samuel Golden again. This week, let's go over some powerful tips to save you time and money. I've been flying for 15 years and these are the things I wish I'd had known from day one, so let's dive in. Let's start with communications. A lot of new pilots are intimidated by communications in flying. Whether it's six other airplanes in the pattern or air traffic control talking like an auctioneer, Communications can add a lot of unnecessary stress if you aren't comfortable. If that's you, here's what will help you a lot. Live ATC. Live ATC is a website that hosts live streams of ATC communication channels from all over the world. Ground, tower, clearance delivery, small to large airports, you name it, they got it. This is powerful because you can sit at home with your headphones on and practice your communications in a low stress environment for free. Think of it like Duolingo for flying. I'll leave a link on the screen and in the description for you to check it out. Start with Live ATC by listening to your home airfield, if it's available, and getting familiar with common phrases there. Then pretend to be one of the aircraft on the frequency and reply to ATC. If you do this, you'll notice the difference next time you go fly. The communications will all feel less foreign and start to become more familiar. Bonus tip though, King Schools has a great course on communications that will explain what is expected of you in various situations when you talk with air traffic control. It's a big help and I'll also link that on the screen and in the description. Next, I recommend you take advantage of simulators like this one behind me. There are a variety of simulators out there, but no matter what you have access to, it will likely be a big help to your flying. Like Live ATC, which we just discussed, being able to practice in a low stress environment can be a big boost to your retention and skill. You can also log some of the simulator hours towards your private pilot certificate. I'd recommend you talk to your CFI, then decide what you'd like to practice in the sim. Personally, I find it very useful for maneuvers, emergencies, and procedures, such as using my checklists. Next tip is chair flying, also known as visualization. Simply put, chair flying is pretending you're flying. And, and I know that sounds weird, but you will want to know that many high performing individuals from athletes to military aviators and more use this technique with great success. And the reason is simple. Your brain does not know the difference between reality and vivid visualization. So if you sit at home and you visualize how you want to perform on your next flight, your brain will actually treat it like a practice session. A good place to start is with something you're having a hard time with. For example, if you struggle with landings, sit in a quiet room, close your eyes, and visualize the landing in as much detail as possible. The way the runway looks, the airspeed, the sounds, the feeling of touching down, the feeling of doing a good job. Do this a few times every day and reap the rewards of chair flying. A few notes of caution here though. This technique, of course, does not replace any real life practice, but it's still a great asset to your training. Also, you will want to remember that practice doesn't actually make perfect. Practice makes permanent. So you will want to make sure that your visualization is correct while you do it. One last tip for today, and then we're done. As you learn, you may start to forget things too, and this is expected. Because of this, I recommend you fly at least twice a week until you are a private pilot. If you fly less, say once a week, you will start to forget things in between lessons and actually move backwards. This dance of one step forward, two steps back can be frustrating and very expensive. So stay consistent and you'll be rewarded with smoother and faster training. Okay, folks, that's it for today. Next week, we are talking about the big day, your check ride. I look forward to talking to you about that, so stay tuned.